I'm done in your own, it's this on Chimo. It's on Chimo. I'm gonna make a helpful video and I'm also gonna do a giveaway. Kinda all in the same kind of bunch type of thing. Alright, this is pretty much the giveaway. It's an unboxing here. Got my unboxing knife. Ah, opened. Let's go on and open this up and see what this is. Yeah, busted my hand up with my hammer. Leave me alone. That is not taking no polish. So Oh, it's just a good old-fashioned, I guess you can say, cheap vote meter. But here's the thing. It's a vote meter. It's better than guessing what your voltage is. So, positive. Give it a little twist here. Nothing crazy. And negative, I'll just hold together. And let's see if we have voltage. There we go. That's about right. Because I have two 9 volt batteries wired up in series, not parallel. Parallel, the amperage will add up. Series, the voltage will add up. So, that's about right. 17.5 volts. Alright, so how do you wire one of these up inside of a car, you ask? Simple. With one of them. Got your relay, and we got a few pieces of wire here, and we're going to go down and wire this thing up. Nice and simple. I did a video on this a while back, but I think it was a little too... I got my soldering gun ready. Got it pre-tinned. I guess you can use uh, the spade connectors, the little, you know, little connectors they sell inside the auto parts store, but I'm just going to use my... My soldering iron to heat this thing up and make it happen. And we have legit solder connections. Alright, so pin number 30. The one that's sideways. Right here. We're going to go down and wire that up to a positive on the battery. With a couple of twisties here. Like I said, nothing permanent. Alright, so on this side right here, we have 87. Okay, this would be the 12 volts going out. So coming in and out, this is basically a switch. Okay, so we're going to wire 12 volts out into both of these right here. Now we got our negative here. Our negative is going to go right on over here to the battery. Preferably the negative on the amp would be ideal. That's really where you want it. Okay, so now that we got the positive coming off the relay to the actual voltmeter, the negative going to the negative on the amp of the relay pins 85 and 86, highly suggest 85 to a separate ground than what you have your voltmeter hooked up to. It might throw the voltmeter off. All right. Secondly, the energizer, I usually hook that up to my remote wire coming, you know, leading into the amplifier or on the back of the radio. Any remote source, it can be a power antenna, anything, to energize it. I'm going to wire this straight over here to the source because when I flip the switch on the battery pack, I want to send power through the circuit. It won't send it through because this relay is acting like a switch. So, there it is. And as you can see, you see what I mean when I tell you about the um, about wiring it to um, a separate ground and power source. You don't want to tap into the source to power the relay that you're trying to get voltage from because it's going to do nothing but drop or you know it, it just won't be accurate so you definitely want to have a separate power source you want that going to a remote line your, your energizer circuit remote line and chassis ground the input going into the actual relay this is coming from your amp 12 volts coming from your amp with a fuse you definitely want to fuse this 
all the other pins that are kind of somewhat in parallel with each other. This one right here, this is pin number 87. Going to your voltmeter. Pins 85 and 86 are to energize this to make this thing work. You hit a click. That's pins 85 and 86 working. And that's all it is. So, what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be giving this voltmeter away. <clears throat> As a matter of fact, I go down and pretend these ends real quick for you. All right, so that's it for Christmas. I'm going to be giving this away. So, you guys stay tuned for that giveaway. No, I will not be giving this away. You guys got to have to go and buy, purchase your own. <laughs> and while I'm at it, I'm going to go it on and go a little further with it. We'll get some LEDs away. I got four um, 6K SMD LED bulbs here. These are T10 connectors. So they will fit 168194, um, 921s, perfect for lights. And also here, we have some RGBs. These are LED strips. I'm going to solder them up, solder, heat shrink them, and I'm going to um, mark the wires so that you can choose whatever color you want. You can choose from, unless you have a controller, but if you don't have a controller, you got your choices of red, blue, or green. RGB. Um, the length of it is that long all right that long that's your length that long in inches that long um this is a standard sheet of eight and a half by eleven so let's see eight and a half wide eleven inches long uh so a little short of the eleven inches i'm gonna guess around ten and some change so you got a ten inch you got two ten inch led strips wait what? in the comments comment if and if you guys are interested in it, you guys want the giveaway, just comment one. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take everybody that comments on this video and uh, put them in a random generator, like one of those apps they have for your phone or whatever, you know. And I'm going to video that so that you guys see that it's, you know, all, it's all legit. And um, good luck if anybody's interested in this little giveaway. Yeah, I posted it on the first video that I make in the year of 2018. Um, so, good luck. Don't forget, got to share the video or at least, you know, share the channel information. And, of course, rate, comment, subscribe. Um, and, of course, with that comment, just comment one if you want it. So, again, good luck. You want to take the source you want to wire up with the fuse all right this wire right here is going to go to the relay pin number 30 all right from 87 is going to go to your voltmeter from your voltmeter you want to go into your amp from the voltmeter Voltmeter only. Now you have pins number 85 and 86 for energizing. 85, you definitely want to chassis ground it. You know, you don't want to ground it with your amp. Ground that sucker somewhere else. All right, pin number 86, straight in with your remote wire. So now the relay is going to cut on, send 12 volt current. From the positive of your amp through the fuse, through that relay to the voltmeter. From the voltmeter, it's going to go to the ground because you want accurate voltage on what's coming in here. All right. Now, pins 85 and 86. Well, of course, we know 86 is going to the remote line. 85, you want to make sure that you pick a separate ground than what your amplifier is. Well, it's possible it can throw it off a little bit, just a little bit. <laughs> 